Good morning, happy Sunday. I am doing some quick makeup and I just decided to turn on the camera. I've tried to film a get ready with me, which I'm still gonna do like with like actual makeup. This is gonna be a bit lighter. Um, but I, I'm so sad because I'm, I'm like hesitant to throw that, throw that footage away because I was so proud of it. It felt very organic, very real to me. Um, and I was so excited about it. I like put the footage in immediately. By the way, I'm having my water with some apple cider vinegar. It does have a lot of health benefits, but for me, it also helps with itchiness and hives and stuff like that. Like if you have food allergies, so that's why I'm drinking it. But anyway, let's go ahead and just get started and I'll tell you guys about that. Um, I am going to go in with, <clears throat> actually, you know what? I'm going to go in with a primer I haven't used in quite a while. And I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to buy this in a full size. Everybody with dry skin says this is amazing. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I do think it's really good. Um, I just, I don't know why I, I go through phases where I'm like, this is amazing. And then I go through phases where I'm like, it's, it, it's good, but I don't know that I want to purchase it in a full size versus other hydrating primers that I have. So I'm just getting that on and it does get a little sticky. But basically, you could only see the top of my head and I was so sad, like I kind of wanted to cry a little bit. <laughs> you could literally only see the top of my head and I had filmed that video when my hair was straight because I kind of wanted to show you like my straight hair routine and what I had been doing to keep my hair you know, together in the, the style you obviously saw me wearing. And if you saw my, um, oh my gosh, invade my privacy tag that I just recently put up, um, the makeup I was wearing in there is the get ready with me I did that particular day. And, uh, yeah, I was really sad. So, okay, so that's done. And then what I did prime my face with, though, actually before that was this why do i still have this in a box i don't know this hourglass number eight primer serum i didn't show this in my haul because i actually got this before my haul um this is so so amazing i know not everybody needs that but if you have incredibly dry skin like that really has been a lifesaver for me because my skin is kind of getting to that point where nothing is looking good on it so i'm gonna do like a dry skin winter winter foundation routine and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna figure out how to do my camera where I'm not blocking you guys in. And what I've been using every day is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I stopped wearing makeup for a few days because recently y'all, I actually burnt my face when I was using my Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I did the same thing I always do. I think I just got too happy when I was using a big bottle and I squirted too much out because I literally only kept it on for two minutes. But I think I just used too much. So anyway, I feel like I'm chattering a lot in the beginning. I'm trying to decide if I want to use this BB cream or the Pro Glow. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for what I've been doing. So no surprises here. Shake that up really good. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I'm in Cream Cafe. And I did not used to really appreciate this foundation. Then I started loving it when I realized that I could mix it in with other foundations. And it was great to make them more radiant. Um, and just kind of change the finish. I actually, my, one of my favorite combos is that mixed in with the Pro Mattes. Since I, you know, don't wear the Pro Mattes necessarily by itself anymore. And I'm going to do a couple drops of my Cover FX drops because I've just been loving that. I did two or three. Um, I've just really been loving my Cover FX drops. I've been wearing them almost every day. I'm so glad to have them back. Talk about a rediscovered love. Those things are being used to the bone. <laughs> so... It was such a good deal to finding them for $22. So I'm just going to patch this all over my face. I don't even know if y'all are going to be able to see the makeup. I'm definitely going to do a regular get ready with me. But this is just kind of get ready with me on Sunday. I have to work today. I have, um, I have to work today. I have a couple errands to go run. Clean it off on the beauty blender. And before I use the Beauty Blender, I'm going to go in with a different brush because I want to try to get some coverage from this. And I'm going to use one of my favorite foundation brushes. Like the Eco Tools, I think it's like the small buffing brush or something. This brush is just fantastic. And I'm just going to pat in first. Pat in. 
I'm looking over here because my mirror's over here. I hope y'all can see, but I don't really feel like y'all can. I really hope you can, though. So, there's something else I wanted to talk to y'all about is... Another reason why I just whip this camera out really quick is because I feel like... You know, I've been on YouTube for a while. And I feel like sometimes I don't do the type of videos that I want to see. You know, and I've mentioned this before. And I'm really going to work on that over this next year. Because a lot of times it's fear and feeling like nobody will watch the video. But I also feel like I just created this channel to express my love of different things related to beauty inside and out. Um, and then eventually to express my love of book and bookish things. And so those that are meant to see it and enjoy it will. Um... And not everybody has to like every single video, you know? Um, and so a video that I have wanted to do, I've wanted to do all kinds of videos. Get ready with me, more tags, excuse me. Because um, get ready with me videos are one of my absolute favorites to do. Um, and just all kind of other stuff, you know, uh, a makeup collection series, best of brands and all kind of stuff. And it's just like, I'm just, going to do it <laughs> um but I also thought it would be fun to do some type of video where it's a little bit more informal and it's just like this week in makeup I wore or something like that and I've been thinking about that for a while I think I've seen a few people do it um but I've been thinking about that for quite a while the way I'm thinking about doing it I don't think I've seen a ton of people do it but maybe they have um but like every day I would just do a sped up like whatever I wore so if it's a day where I don't wear anything I'm gonna come on and show you that you know or um, if it's a day where it's full glam, it's full glam. This is one of my favorite concealers, the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in 13. Cream ca cream care uh caramel. And I am actually running out of this and I did not realize that or I would have picked up one during the sale. I am gonna pick one up though. This is actually a real uh, affordable product, something I can afford. <laughs> it's not a lot from Sephora that I can just be like, ooh, I want you, I'm gonna have you. And I'm like literally almost out. And this is a great concealer for me right now when my skin is like dry and stuff. Because it is just, it has a creaminess to it. And uh, just goes on really pretty. I actually pulled out my corrector to use and then I just totally forgot. So, alright. Forgot to put that on. But I have been actually putting that on. And uh, another rediscovered love has been that Benefit Erase Face. It's so hydrating and emollient. And I know not everybody <laughs> needs that. But again, if you do, that is a good one in terms of those under eye type correctors. And I caught a glimpse of myself yesterday in the house. And then when I was outside <laughs> the house. And I just thought it looked so fresh faced. At some point, the little bit of lip gloss that I had had wore off. And I was just left thinking that my makeup looked really fresh face. I'm going to go in with another favorite of the month, which is the Hourglass Translucent um, Veil. This is so nice. I'm going to try to put some tape back over this because I stupidly poked a hole in every last one of them, knowing that was a bad idea. I don't know why I did that. I would never do that. And then I did. <laughs> so let me grab a brush. Today is also brush laundry day. I mean, sometimes I can go two weeks because I have enough brushes too, but it's relaxing and so I like to um, do my brush laundry once a week. And so I'm going to because some of my favorite brushes that I like to use are filthy. But this powder is really something special. You know what powder I do want to try though? And that's, this is kind of put it back on my radar. Um, I mean, people regardless to skin type have been talking about the RCMA powder, but specifically for dry skin. And normally I would have done a little bit of highlighting up there, but I didn't today. And I'm just going to use this around my mouth too, just to set that area. I also did not color correct, <clears throat> which sometimes I do, but today I don't care about some imperfections showing through. I feel like I still have my morning voice. But yeah, so I um, was up late last night trying to debate between a few of the furniture pieces that I'm going to get to finish this room. I did hang up one picture, the 
we did a dove release for my uncle at his funeral um close to the end and i got to keep the i don't know what it would be like it's like a scripture that they framed and stuff and it has his name on it and i got to keep that so it's hanging up in here so that's really the only piece hanging up in here i have a couple more pieces of art that are going to be hung up in here that are just up against the wall and then i'm thinking about moving my vanity actually to another part of the room then what i'm going to do on my eyes quickly a lot of times I don't do anything when I'm doing this type of fresh face look. It depends how fresh face we're going. But sometimes, I, most of the time, I still will put on some eyeshadow primer. My favorite one at the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer, which I don't think is a very popular product. I don't think a lot of people like this. But I love it. I've talked before about the Milani eyeshadow primer that everybody loves. And I just knew I was going to love it. I just knew it was going to change my life. But you know what? It didn't work for me. And then the other thing I'm going to do is actually just take some of my bronzer, this Makeup Geek bronzer, and uh, the Deep Skin bronzer, and burnish. I don't know how I feel about that name. Burnished. I, all I can hear is burnt and burn. I don't know. It didn't bother me at first, but now every time I say it, I just... Could we have not thought of something different? I don't know. Burnish just, it is a small thing. <laughs> Maybe. I'm unsure. And I think that's what bothers me. So I'm just taking a little bit of this sloppily in my crease and above, just a little bit above my crease just to give my eyes some definition. One day when I was doing this, I did use a different concealer. Have y'all seen the Maybelline? I'm probably the last one because I couldn't find them in my area. Let's see if I can dig it out. Maybelline has come out now with these concealers. This used to be my favorite concealer. As you can see, I still have one. Uh, Neutralizer was the shade that I always used. But now they've come out with some in skin tone shades. I think they always had a couple, but none of them were even close to my skin tone shade. So that was not something I could take advantage of. And I remember um, the undertones also being... A little bit off for me so I just went for the neutralizer one which definitely is a yellow undertone okay that's more than enough I'm just sitting here running my mouth and I'm just blending 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 um, and then my eyebrows are actually freshly threaded which I mean is that's like the best time when the eyebrows are freshly threaded I'm actually going to use the Maybelline studio brow Gel. It has been years upon years upon years. Do you hear me? Since I have used anything that was not a pencil. But I am so shocked that I love this product. I really love it. And I just cannot stop using it now. Like, I mean, I was fully ready to just think, nope, I'm fine. <laughs> so here are my brows freshly threaded. Yeah. And my favorite moisturizer, I'm just looking at my face and I'm like, oh, it's time to use it. I So I realized that there's a couple things I didn't do. Oh, man. Because I didn't spray my face this time. So what I had been doing before I went in with that base that you saw is spraying my face with the Glow Mist from Pixie. The regular Glow Mist. Um, also, I noticed and I picked it up. I'm going to try it out. Pixie has a rose glow mist. So I think I'm going to be doing a, a haul soon or either like a haul and get ready with me or something like that because I picked up quite a few things from the drugstore, this being one of them, from the drugstore and then also from other stores to carry more affordable makeup. So I'm going to use this. I have just loved, like, I'm just so shocked that I love this. This is really nice. Um, and like I said, especially when I've just been using a pencil. But this also reminds me of my first days of wearing makeup. I also just run it through like this. Like, because this is small enough that I can just run it through this way. And then just be more precise out here at the end. Especially because my brows are a little bit fuller, obviously. So, I don't have to be as precise. Which I think is what I really love about it. <laughs> um, but sometimes I don't do my brows with my glasses on. But today it's a glasses on kind of day. Y'all, I did my I did the best twist out of my life this week. I really did. Like the best twist out of my life. I'm gonna take my hair out and we're gonna see what it looks like. Um, because this is like fourth day hair, fourth or fifth day hair, and I didn't 
um, twisted back up last night. I just, I just didn't and I should have. So <laughs> I'm going to twist it back up tonight though for the week. Um, because I'm going to deep condition my hair tonight. So yeah, I keep putting this back in the box because I have the old one in here that I actually need to get rid of. okay um and then final thing for me is mascara i have just been going back and forth with a lot of mascaras i'm gonna keep it real i have so many mascaras open right now i don't even know how that happened i tend to only have two open i have like six open right now i bet not touch not another mascara not another one because mascaras just go too fast to have this many open um, I think I'm going to use my Maybelline Total Temptations mascara. I'm really not somebody that falls in, in love with mascara left and right. I'm just really not that person. But I love this mascara from the first time I used it. Just in general, I tend to be really apprehensive about makeup products. So I don't love them after the first time. But this, you know, I really, I really loved it. And I'm going to actually go in with an oldie but a goodie as well, which is my Maybelline lash discovery mini brush mascara i almost use this kind of as like a lash primer <laughs> because i feels like i feel like sometimes i use this by itself though it gets beautiful length but you're gonna be sitting there for a while And this mascara to me is more volumizing than anything. And it's really black. It's really pretty. The one thing I will say is I did get waterproof. Waterproof tends to be the way that I go. I ended up crying when I had this on. And granted, it was toward the end of the day, but still. This thing, I I don't know about that waterproof claim. I mean, it got in my eyes so bad. It, I can't think of a mascara that has burned as bad as this. I mean, burned to the point where I also am not somebody like throw water in my face. <laughs> Um, because it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I've gotten better with it, but it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I almost drowned when I was little, so I have a thing with that. Um, but I ran in the bathroom like, oh my God, give me some relief. This, this was intense. I, what are y'all doing this Sunday? Like I said, I have work to do and, uh. I'm going to clean up my house a little bit. I've gotten mascara all over and I'm normally not that bad. I'm going to let that dry and then just get it off. This brush is a little bit bigger. But still, I'm normally not that bad with it. I haven't had my coffee, haven't had my matcha, nothing. None of the above, so can we blame it on that? That's what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, this is really volumizing. So if you like a mascara that does a little bit more of both, I don't know if you would love this. Now, maybe if you just have naturally long lashes, it won't matter. I really can't speak to that because I have very short but very curly lashes. So, I really am not the person to speak to that. And then, I am going to go in with some blush. And, you know, I'm going to go in with my baby. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go in. Oh, well, actually... This is see obviously this is a little bit different. I've been doing the same look, but I kind of changed up just a couple of the products today, and I probably shouldn't, but you know. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna go in with this. Oh no, 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 no. You know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use this. This is the e.l.f. Oh, I forgot the name of it. Something primer infused blush. E.l.f. You need to go ahead and just make an expanded range of this. Look at this shade right here. They don't have many that I think will fit, would work for my skin tone, but also recognizing how intensely pigmented these blushes are, I'm kind of wondering if those shades that I think won't work for my skin tone will because they're so pigmented. But this is the shade right here. I got to be careful with this thing. So, smile, and then I like to put it on my cheeks. And this is like my perfect blush brush because, mm, just, mm, love it. Mm, mm, mm. I just really do and then just sweep that back and then I just pat it in as well. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but in person, it's really everything that I need. And I had on the Agave lip mask this whole time, by the way. Sometimes I do that when my lips are really dry, which they are. I want to get the Agave lip balm. 
but I just haven't yet. And then for highlighter, I've been really going for something more undetectable, so I think we all know what that means. Um, I've either been using my NARS Hot Sand Illuminator, which I've been mixing this in with foundation a lot, actually. But I'm going to take it back, and I'm going to use my Opal. And I just swipe that on up there. And it's something about the color of this that I think might make this just a little bit more undetectable than the other ones. And I think since I've been wanting more of a pronounced highlight, now I normally would blend this in with a sponge or something, but I'm just not even going to do that. And I don't like it to look like a stripe, so I like to blend it in, but also kind of pat up and down so that it blends. That glow is something special. So these are products I've just been enjoying so much. And then for my gloss, you know what? I think my gloss is actually in my purse. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think. Oh, here it is. No, it's not. <coughs> yeah, this is not the one that I've been using, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. This is in Cherry Tart. I've actually been using the one in Strawberry, which is like a really, it just gives like a, really nice pink flush to the cheeks or what this one just gives a little something deeper this is one of the oldest products that i've been using i remember purchasing these from elf when elf barely had a lineup of products and i knew nothing about what i was doing with makeup not one thing i'm actually gonna put this one in show you a little bit more do y'all remember when i used to talk about these i need to go ahead and get rid of these now do y'all remember when I used to talk about these? I can't believe I may get rid of them. They were the liquid lip balms. I don't think this was a very popular product for them. But I love these because you don't see li liquid lip balms in the drugstore. And I think a lot of people were disappointed because they thought they were like um, lip glosses. But they weren't. I'm doing that weird check, you know, where you got to kind of look around your face like, how are we looking? It's looking good. I'm going to spray some spray and then, um, that's really it. Put on some earrings. So you got to shake this up really well. This is the glow mist. Has anybody used a Tatcha spray that people say this is a dupe for or a close dupe for or whatever? Let me know. And let me know what your skin type is because I want to try it, but my skin is very dry. So um, there tends to be products that some people think aren't really worth it, but are worth it for me because of my skin type. And I just want to set all that in. Then we're just going to go ahead and use our fancy command strip <laughs> little package. Y'all know, eventually I want to give me like one of them uh, fans. I'm going to see if my Dollar Tree has them, you know, to pop open for those nights or whatever. Or days when I just have time to just like really enjoy my makeup. The light is really hitting this side of my face, ain't it? Okay, let's see what my hair is looking like. My hair was so defined and juicy. I mean, it really was. So... Shake it out. My neck just started to hurt when I did that. Yeah, it needs to be. Oh, see? Yeah, over here you can kind of see it was so defined and juicy. This is a side that I lay on a lot, so it's not as defined. But it was, I mean, it was juicy. I mean, it's still juicy. And you know what? I was really sad when I got my hair cut, but I, t I ended up falling in love with my hair while it was straight. I did miss my curls. But now that my hair has gone back curly, you know, I've gone back curly, what I realized is that I really needed that cut, and so I'm really going to put it on my calendar and keep up with the cuts because I think that has a lot to do with why my hair was kind of stalled and it was not growing because it was just so damaged. So I'm just pulling my hair back out. And the first day, I really picked my hair out, but I still left it defined, and so I think that's helping it now. But yeah, I'm going to twist this back up this week. And I kind of got some product, I think, on there. Let me see if my uh, dry spray is in here. It might not be, though. It's not. I need to bring a couple hair products in here. But, yeah, so. 
It still looks really shiny though in person. So this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. So yeah, this is it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.